Mr. Sarah, the U.S. needs at least one million more truckers over the next decade to meet demand. But right now, there's actually a shortage that is pushing rates to reach record highs. General trucking, how almost everything gets to stores. We're talking sneakers to laptops, 50 percent higher than it was back in May of 2019. Trucking for grocery and food, that's 44 percent higher. Moody says grocery companies and general retailers, we're talking about an Albertsons or a Walmart, they'll be the first to see the cost increases because they often get daily deliveries via truck and they need to restock their inventory so often. Also, contributing to the problem, the U.S. has 56,000 fewer drivers than before the pandemic due to failed drug and alcohol testing. Thousands of truckers also, they just stop driving because of the virus or maybe even new job opportunities. The pandemic also reduced the average class size of trucking schools by 20 percent, lowering the pipeline of new truckers coming into the industry. And if you didn't know, the shortage of drivers, it's already costing you. Up to 25 percent of all gas tanker trucks are idle right now because of the driver shortage. It's a factor causing gas prices to rise 17 cents over the past month. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.